So part of how we participate in this net work is by contributing and interweaving our assets. The present of our presence. You all are bringing a gift of your presence here today. The blessings of our talents and our spiritual gifts. And yes, the generous offerings of our money and our material assets. Today we are celebrating deep abundance. I mean, do y'all see all these flowers? Talk about abundance. The Flower Guild had a workshop yesterday. They said, well, we've got so many flowers. I said, it's Abundance Sunday! We are celebrating deep abundance as we lift up our estimates of giving for the coming year to St. George's. And I want to thank everyone who has taken this step and who will take that step. When we say, when we fill out the card or fill it out online that we're going to generously share our gifts with the church, we're saying we want to be a part of the network of Christ in this place. We want to be part of weaving a web of generosity together. But when it comes to giving money, it's easy to go back like Simon did to that deficit thinking to say, well, I don't have that much. I don't have enough to give as much as I'd like. Or we say, I, I just don't have what it takes to possibly tithe or give that 10% y'all are always talking about, or even close. Or we say, I've, I've worked hard, but I just don't have anything. And instead of focusing on the deficits, instead of saying, you know, I, I keep trying, but I, I just don't seem to be able to do much, God in Christ invites us to see our assets and our possibilities. Do not be afraid, he says. You're going to be fishing for people. You're going to be part of my network. And we might imagine ourselves saying instead, with Christ as my treasure, I aspire with so many others to give that proportional amount, that sacrificial amount of my assets as we joyfully encourage each other to give from what we have. Or we say, with the saints in Christ, I want to deepen my faith. I want to go out to the deep water. And my giving is a way to cast the net, to make that tangible. So we follow the path of increasing generosity and joy. Or we say, I see this church family as a treasure, an asset in my life and in the lives of so many others, and so I want to give, even extravagantly, to be part of this network of deep abundance.